September 29, 2021, the thick crescent moon is in the southeast before sunrise, approaching the middle of Gemini. The evening planet pack is visible after sunset. Chart Caption, 2021, September 29, before sunrise, the thick crescent moon is 12.0 degrees to the right of Castor, one of the Gemini twins. By Jeffrey L. Hunt. Chicago, Illinois, sunrise, 6.46 a.m. CDT, sunset, 6.35 p.m. CDT. Check local sources for sunrise and sunset times for your location. Morning Sky. An hour before sunrise, the thick crescent moon, 46% illuminated, is over two-thirds of the way up in the southeastern sky. It is nearing the middle of Gemini, 12.0 degrees to the right of Castor. Castor's twin, Pollux, is 4.5 degrees below the star. Evening Sky. Chart Caption, 2021, September 29, 45 minutes after sunset, brilliant Venus is low in the southwest, 11.1 degrees to the lower right of Shubba. The bright evening planet pack, evening star Venus, bright Jupiter, and Saturn, are easy to spot. 45 minutes after sunset, brilliant Venus is about 9 degrees up in the southwest. Find a clear horizon to see it. The planet is easy to locate through the colorful layers of evening twilight. Venus steps eastward each evening compared to the background stars. Venus is trekking toward the three stars that make the head of the scorpion, Graphias, Shubba, and Pi Scorpii, Pi SCO on the chart, this evening, the planet is 11.1 degrees to the lower right of Shubba. Venus passes this star and it is joined by a crescent moon on October 9th. Venus, the crescent moon, and the three stars make a close grouping that fit into a single binocular field. The three stars make a target that nearly spans a binocular field. Adding Venus and the Moon is a rare sight. After the October 9th grouping, the next time this is visible is October 10, 2029. After passing Shubba, Venus continues its eastward ramble, passing Antares on the evening of October 16th. Note the location of Venus compared to the stars each clear evening. Catch the brilliant planet long before it sets 101 minutes after sunset. Chart Caption, 2021, September 29th, Bright Jupiter and Saturn are in the southeast after sunset. Farther eastward, bright Jupiter is low in the southeast when Venus is in the southwest. Saturn is nearly 16 degrees to the upper right of the Jovian giant. After Venus sets, only Jupiter, Arcturus, and Vega are brighter than the ring wonder. Jupiter and Saturn are retrograding in front of the stars of Capricornus until next month. During the night, Jupiter and Saturn appear farther westward. By three hours after sunset, both are in the southern sky. Saturn sets tomorrow morning about 5 hours before sunrise. Jupiter follows less than 90 minutes later. Detailed daily note, 1 hour before sunrise, the moon, 22.4 d, 46%, is nearly 67 degrees up in the southeast, 12.0 degrees to the upper right of Castor, Alpha Gem, M equals 1.6. Venus, Jupiter, and Saturn are easily spotted in the evening sky as night falls. 45 minutes after sunset, Brilliant Venus is about 9 degrees up in the southwest, 0.5 degrees to the left of Iota Liv. As it moves farther eastward in the classic Scorpion, Libra and Scorpius, it edges toward the next bright star Chubba, Delta SCO, M equals 2.3. The gap is 11.1 degrees. Additionally, Venus is 18.4 degrees to the lower right of Antares. Saturn is east of the Scorpion and Sagittarius. Retrograding in Capricornus, it is 25 degrees up in the south-southeast. Jupiter, 15.9 degrees to the lower left of the Ring Wonder, is over 20 degrees above the southeast horizon. Venus sets 101 minutes after sundown. Two hours after sunset, Saturn is less than one-third of the way up in the south, but east of the meridian. In the star field, it is 1.4 degrees to the lower right of Upsilon Cap. Jupiter, 30 degrees up in the south-southeast, is 3.3 degrees to the lower right of Mu Cap, 1.7 degrees to the upper right of Deneb Algidi, and 1.5 degrees to the upper left of Nashira.